Now children, in this video, we will study something very important known as hybridization. Important for all the exams, all competitions. So please be very attentive here. What is this hybridization? Firstly, I will tell you, it is purely a hypothetical phenomena, a hypothetical concept, just a hypothetical concept, right? Now, first in simple words, what is this? When two or more than two atomic orbitals of nearly same energies combine, they give rise to same number of new orbitals having exactly same energies. Such newly formed orbitals are known as hybrid orbitals and the phenomena hybridization. So children, when suppose we have 1s and 1p orbitals combining, say for example here 1s and 1p combine, they will give rise to same number of new orbitals, means two. And those two which, we, which have combined will be identical, same in all respects. So they will give rise to two sp orbitals. They will be same in terms of energy plus other all properties. Similarly, if 1s and 2p combine, means three are combining, they will give rise to three sp2 orbitals having exactly same energy and identical in all respects. If 1s and 3p combine, they will give rise to 4 sp3 hybrid orbitals. Similarly, if 1s, 3p and 1d, they combine. So, you see here 1 plus 3 plus 1, 5. They will give rise to 5 sp3d hybrid orbitals. Their characters mix so much so that they lose their completely identity and now they all are very much identical. So number remains the same, 5, but now they will all be having features of sp3d. Here sp2, here sp3. So now see its definition. Phenomena of intermixing of atomic orbitals of comparable energies. Comparable energies means nearly same energies to form a set of same number of orbitals. Same number of orbitals of equal energy as I told just now and identical in all respects. Phenomena of intermixing of atomic orbitals of comparable energies to form a set of same number of new orbitals of equal energies and identical in all respects. All these four sp3 will be identical in all respects what to mention which respect is not there or doubtful. Each and every respect they will be identical. So this is known as hybridization and such newly formed orbitals are known as hybrid orbitals. So orbitals of nearly same energies combined, they give rise to same number of new orbitals having exactly same energies, identical in all respects. They are known as hybrid orbitals and the phenomena hybridization. Now children, rules. The atomic orbitals of one single atom only take part in hybridization in any molecule any ion it is the it is only one atom whose orbitals take part in bond formation and mind you i should tell you it is always the central atom whose orbitals take part in hybridization central atom single atom central atom right so orbital of one single atom only and that atom is always the central atom like ammonia it is n like water it is o like uh, methane it is uh, c carbon likewise then second point only the orbitals of comparable energies hybridize only those orbitals combine which have nearly same energies if not same 
at the most nearly same energies, comparable energies. Then the number of hybrid orbitals formed is equal to the number of orbitals hybridized. As I told you, if 1s and 3p will combine, they will give rise to 4sp3. So the number of orbitals hybridized is equal to the number of orbitals formed. Always exactly equal. Then only the orbitals undergo hybridization, not electrons. Children, it is totally a hypothetical concept. Here it's only the orbitals hybridize, not the electrons. Point to be noted. Then hybrid orbitals form only sigma bond and not pi. Also an assumption that hybrid orbitals always form sigma bond and not pi bond. Then hybrid orbitals remain in a space farthest apart in order to have minimum repulsion. Children, ultimately these orbitals which have combined, they are existing close. So when they will be in the close vicinity, naturally they will be repelling each other. And in order to uh, stabilize a chemical species, we should have the minimum possible repulsions there. And every species has a tendency to stabilize itself. With the result, these hybrid orbitals, they try to remain in a space as far apart as possible. They stay farthest apart. Due to which turn, there's a fixed position. Suppose there are only two orbitals hybridized. So if they are farthest apart, they'll be at an angle of 180 degree. So likewise, this also in turn defines, describes, gives rise to a fixed geometry or shape of the chemical species. It is molecule or ion, whatever. So in this video, I've given you these points. I again repeat, it's not a true chemical phenomena, only a hypothetical concept. For this video, we stop here. Okay? Thank you.